Hi guys, for those of you who watched the Teleform demonstration movie from Digital Documents, you may have left thinking it would really be nice to take that form and put it out there online and submit it electronically if possible, which would give you the option of paper as well as the option of an e-form. Well, the e-form suite by Electric Paper actually allows you to do that. I'm going to go ahead and take this form that we created in the demonstration movie and I'm going to export it to PDF Plus Forms Export 5.0. We're going to put that on the desktop because we need to put it out on our web server afterwards. So we're just going to say OK. And we're going to hit the export button. And it's going to call up the eForm suite utility and setup. And we're going to say we'd like to create a PDF eForm export with online data collection with that form in the background there. So with a few simple settings that I've already configured. Uh, just a web server, a uh, little bit of a setup on the web server, a response URL, um, uh, put some buttons on the form, uh, navigation buttons, uh, the print form, reset a form, mainly send the data and reset form are two important ones, and you'll see those in a second. Uh, again, this is just for demonstration purposes. We're not going to go very deep into the technical uh, details of it, but it was very quick to set up. And we're going to say OK. And we're going to say save this Teleform demo.pdf to the desktop. I want to go ahead and take the spaces out just because I know I'm going to have to put it out on a website and I want to make it as easy as possible. There we go. And that's OK. The viewer I'm using isn't actually uh, ready for what I'm trying to do. That's OK. So now we have a PDF with print form, reset form, and send data that was created from Teleform but exported via Electric Paper's eForm suite. As you can see, we still have the elements required for paper collection. So that becomes an option when you start thinking about how you want to distribute the form. You could have two different versions of the same form within Teleform. One of them could include the the recognition objects, the cornerstones and the block ID for printing and sending out and having them manually filled out. And you could have another um, version of the form that would be just for electronic submission and you could remove these objects. So that's a choice inside of Designer, something you have to think ahead of. However, if you use the electronic form with the objects on it, it does give you the ability to, to, to allow the user to print the form if for whatever reason they don't have, uh, they don't trust the uh, submitting data over the internet or they just have an issue with submitting data over the internet, at least they can pull the form up, they can manually type in their information and then they can print the form and mail it because that's going to give you better recognition when you scan it anyway because now we have typed characters versus handwritten characters but we're going to go ahead and save this or not save it I mean we're just gonna close this and if we go to our desktop we do have a teleform demo dot PDF file and I'm going to take that and put it on a web server and be right back alright so what I've done is I've uh, got that form out on a website now uh, that's what happens after you publish the document as either a PDF in this case for this demonstration or you can also export it as an HTML form which will be doing another demonstration movie shortly because that is very useful for doing tablet uh, capture uh, pulling documents on uh, up on a tablet and submitting them so for this movie we're going to finish out with the PDF again it's been put up on a website which we're going to go to 
So we have a little DDoX PDF fillable test page. And here's the link for our Steve Simple Demo form. Simply click it, and there is our form uh, along with our PDF controls for looking at a PDF in a browser. Uh, it's very compatible with Adobe's free reader. Nothing needed on the client side as far as uh, purchasing. They just need to download Adobe's free reader and they'll be able to utilize any forms that you create via Teleform and then export via the eForm suite into a fillable PDF. We're going to go ahead and fill this out. And what we're going to realize about filling this out electronically, we could again print the form. If we made a mistake, we'd reset the form. In this case, we're just going to hit send data. I configured a real quick response page so it's it thanks um, the individual for sharing the information you could configure a uh, an ASP page that pulled the first name out of the form and said thank you Steve for sharing your information with us uh, that's completely up to the uh, entity utilizing the product however now that I've submitted that the reader is set up and just needs to be running. It's actually already processed that. It's very, very almost instantaneous, and there's no need for verification. Whereas on the paper form, we needed to verify it. Well, with the electronic form, there's no need for verification. So if I go look in the test.mdb, see that our data is already there. So processing via electronic. Uh, submission is instantaneous, near instantaneous, utilizing the eForm suite for Teleform by Electric Paper. Thank you for your time, and we hope you found this demonstration useful.